So Quackity just dropped a translation app called Dababel. And honestly, <laughs> I wasn't expecting much. Another celebrity tech venture, right? But here's the thing. I've been testing it for a week now. And it's actually pretty solid. Dababel is basically a universal voice translator that works in real time. You press to talk, it translates instantly, and you can even get live dubbing over any content on your device. The pitch is simple. Speak any language with anybody, anywhere. And you know what? It mostly delivers. What surprised me is how seamless the voice translation feels. I tested it with Spanish, French, and even Japanese conversations, and the lag is minimal. The dubbing feature is wild too. You can literally watch foreign YouTube videos and hear them in your language in real time. It's like having subtitles, but for your ears. The app works across your phone and desktop, so you're not locked into one platform. I used it during a work call with international clients, and while it's not perfect, it definitely broke down communication barriers that would have been awkward otherwise. Now, let's be real about the limitations. Complex sentences still trip it up sometimes, and technical jargon gets lost in translation. The voice synthesis sounds slightly robotic, though it's getting better. <sighs> and honestly, in noisy environments, the accuracy drops pretty noticeably. But here's where it gets interesting. This isn't just another Google Translate clone. The gaming integration is actually clever. You can use it for international gaming sessions, which makes sense given Quackity's background. Most users seem to love it for travel and business calls. The pricing isn't public yet since it just launched, but early access seems free for now. Whether it stays that way or goes subscription, we'll see. Bottom line, Dababel feels like the first translation app that actually gets how people want to communicate. It's not trying to be everything to everyone. It's focused on real-time conversation, and it nails that pretty well. If you're doing international business, traveling, or just want to connect with people across language barriers, this one's worth checking out. If this helped you out, hit like and subscribe. I break down the latest and most talked about tools every week across finance, marketing, software, design, basically any niche you care about. Check out the newest review here or hit the playlist if you're still comparing. But hey, what's your take? Is this one a win or would you pass? Drop a comment. I'm always curious what real users think.